To create our first Meteor application, we need to create our first project. And when working with Meteor, a project is the self-contained set of files that form the foundation of an application. You can use the words project and application interchangeably, but project is better suited for talking about an application as it's being developed. Every project is unique, but will generally contain HTML files to create the interface, CSS files to assign styles to the interface, JavaScript files to define application logic, and directories to keep everything organized. A project can contain other types of files like images and CoffeeScript files, but we'll keep things as simple as possible in this course and only work with what we need. Before we create a project for the leaderboard application, though, let's create a directory to store our Meteor projects. We don't have to do this, but it's a good way to keep things organized. We could, of course, use the New Folder option from the File menu to create a new directory, but instead, we're going to use the command line. Inside the command line, write MKDIR Meteor, then tap the Return key. The MKDIR command stands for Make Directory. And as you can probably guess from the name, it allows us to make a directory. In this case, we're making a directory named Meteor. The precise location where the directory will be created will depend on your operating system, but at least on Mac OS X, it will appear inside the home directory by default. If you can't find the directory that's created, then simply use the search functionality on your computer. Next, navigate into the newly created directory by typing cd meteor. This cd command stands for change directory, and it's equivalent to double-clicking on a directory from inside the visual interface. So after tapping the return key, we'll be inside the meteor directory. To then create a Meteor project inside this directory, type Meteor Create Leaderboard. And this command has three parts. The Meteor part defines this as a Meteor command, so any command that specifically relates to Meteor will start with this. The Create part clarifies the exact action we want to take. In this case, we want to create a project. And the leaderboard part is the name we're assigning to the project. We could, however, choose whatever name we want. After tapping the return key, a leaderboard directory will appear inside the Meteor directory that we created a moment ago. This directory is our Meteor project, and by default, it will contain three files that are named after the name of the project. Leaderboard.css leaderboard.html, and leaderboard.js. We can split our project into as many files as we want, but in this course, we'll only be working with these specific files.